Hey everyone, Achika here, and it's the weekend, so that means it's time for another DCUO base showcase here on the channel, and today I got a very special one lined up for you guys. So Crime Hawk is actually a league mate of mine, but what makes this base so special is it's actually their first ever completed base that they've done on the game. Uh, they did dabble in bases a bit, but once they joined our league a few years ago, they quickly realized that a lot of us are very much into decorating. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely go on furniture hunts and, and all that good stuff and run seasonals like crazy and are always looking at each other's bases and work and all that good stuff. So he got inspired to create his first base and it's finally finished and I am super stoked to show it to you guys. So without further ado, why don't we go check out Crime Hawk's base entitled No Theme. <laughs> all right. So I asked Crime why it was titled No Theme, and he replied that after seeing so many bases on my channel that you guys did that were super coherent, he felt like his was so random it didn't really have a theme, so he didn't really want to call it anything besides No Theme. <laughs> Which I don't think you should be self-conscious of at all. After seeing this base, I'm really stoked to show it to you guys. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love the evil laugh when you enter. Oh, it's so good. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So we start off in a vernal forest here. Very cool. I also like the security cameras watching. <laughs> Even though we're in a garden, we're definitely still being watched by some kind of nefarious tech. I should also mention that Crime Hawk is actually a villain character. Uh, he has a hero character in my league, and we also have like a sister villain league that we've been running with over the past couple years, which is really cool. So like incorporating both sides of the DCUO spectrum. <laughs> Mixie's on fire too. Oh man. You know, I'm sure he, he, he no Mixie probably deserved that. Like no matter hero or villain, that, that seems, that seems on par. <laughs> Got the Ultraman statue looking out over the garden. Oh man, yeah, this is very, very nice. Oh, I see a bat wing century here. Very cool. All right, let's go over here first. So we have a necromancer room, it looks like, or possibly an Egyptian room. I, oh look, he put the forbidden prisoner in the necron throne. That's awesome. Oh, the parrot's in there. <laughs> it's like a necromancer aviary. <laughs> Lots of birds and bones. <laughs> birds and bones. <laughs> I love it. That's cool. All right, let's check out the other room over here. Oh, it looks like we have a, a ritual circle here for the amenities. Lots of Wonder Woman and bombshell stuff. Maybe this is like a time machine or something, like a ritual time machine. <laughs> or a portal to Themyscira, maybe? Could be. <laughs> it could be something more nefarious, too. Again, villain base, so we never know. But either way, this is really cool. Also, these posters are hard to, were hard to come by, man, back in the day, because they were like, what, 100 marks of legend? And like, you... <laughs> So we could only buy like a handful of those because the marks were maxed out at 250 for a lot of us. So th those were hard, uh, hard to come by. <gasps> well, hello you, my sprightly friend. What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> All right. So we saw Ultraman. And it looks like oh, we have a sitting room here, Superwoman, and some more statuary, of course, the gods, as well as an elevator going down, it looks like. Very cool. Oh man, we better we better get out of here, my friend. Ah, we're caught! <laughs> but I really, I love this idea, because I hope like this will like link to maybe another base in the future that he makes. Like maybe Crime Lab or something, you know what I mean? Like something... Or crime dungeon or something like that. <laughs> Another offshoot, which would be cool. And the elevator would be in the front. Like you were like exiting it. All the star field windows above. Oh, look at the statues, the Brainiac stuff. This is cool. Oh, he's got all the triumphs facing off. Oh, yeah, heat wave. <laughs> That's really neat. I love that. 
And then some more of the source walls here, too. <laughs> Double Brainiac. <laughs> Brainiac's tag team. <laughs> when they're over there facing off against Darkseid and Perpetua. Ooh, I got the blessing while I was mid-jump, too. That's pretty fun. Look at you. Your magic's got some good range. <laughs> Very nice. All right, let's go. Let's go this way first. We'll circle around. Ooh. So we have a Superman room or Superman memorial room, I should say. <laughs> oh no! Poor's gonna be he's gonna bed for sad crypto. <laughs> There's oh it's Bat no this is the Batman vs Superman room okay he's got Batman lurking in the corner that's awesome <laughs> and all the Kryptonian stuff and all the rubble and the posters that's great it looks like uh, Batman one because he's looking out over uh, Superman's corpse here a little Doomsday <laughs> that's awesome. <gasps> Oh, I love the idea of the portal with the, the raw orbs. That, that goes really well. Like it's powering it. Like a con like it well, they are conduits, so that would make sense. I like that. Hi, Doomsday. <laughs> oh, and a shovel for, for the grave that had been dug. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen any of the Batman vs. Superman posters, these came out in like oh man, a while ago. Like right before the movie dropped, I think. And they're not available anymore because I think the licensing ran out, I would assume. Uh, but you could buy them from Marks of Legends because a lot of us were maxed out on Marks of Legend back in the day. We needed something to do with them because <laughs> we had all the characters already. <laughs> so we have a library sitting room slash dining room here. Lots of paintings and artifacts around. As well as, I think I spied a kitchen. Yes, very nice. Oh, got the cake. <laughs> Refrigerator, the hanging racks, and the meat, of course. Very cool. Got a lot and some more library here. Yeah, very nice. Oh, a flash room. <laughs> the progressive speedster. <laughs> oh, it seems like Doomsday's laughing too. He likes it as well. <laughs> He's a fan. That's great. It almost reminds me of like they're shrinking, like some, you know what I mean? Like slow-mo shrinking, like D -d 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 -d. <laughs> They're running so fast, they're skipping through the time force. <laughs> oh, I see a ghost. Oh my. Oh, this should be shut probably. Yep. <laughs> oh no. It's a cat boo. The cutest of boos, but also the one that my own cat Blitz like reacts to. She can literally hear it in my headset. <laughs> <laughs> from across the room. So if you hear her meowing, that's her being like, there's another cat. I want you to play. <laughs> I love this tech room, though. This is very cool. All the different bikes and the throne. The crime throne. <laughs> crime hawk's throne. <laughs> very nice. Oh, I love the flash pack mounted terminals too they're so cool oh got a phone booth area with some graffiti because it looks like we've got a club or a nightclub here of course we do every villain needs a nightclub <laughs> look at the floors this is awesome <laughs> Somebody took advantage of the Valentine's Day event. <laughs> we got hookahs and all kinds of food. Casino tables, pool tables, all kinds of different bars, couches. Oh, this is this is fantastic. All kinds of different screens, a dartboard, of course. An ambush bug as the thankless bartender. Hello, ambush bug. I hope you're well. It is still your holiday. If you guys didn't know, you can still get Ambush Bug Collections when this is coming out. You guys have a couple more days because uh, they were gracious. And uh, let the season will be out for a little longer. So if you need Ambush Bug, go find some collection nodes anywhere in the game. It's not just Gotham or Metropolis. Actually, all the DLC areas have them too. So go check it out. Go farm. 
Go get your ambush bugs. <laughs> yeah, I got the mini fridge. Very cool. All right, and so let's check out this. Woo, we have an underwater area here, too. All the Aquaman stuff. I like how it's all got the iconic theme to it, too. Oh, more guard. Of course, he's probably going to grow, too, because he's in the water. You're going to become big boy more guard. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Off the hidden diver. <laughs> He's like, no, please, don't summon Morgor. What are you doing to me? <laughs> it's fun to see all these iconic posters, because I forget, like, a lot of my... I always give my iconic stuff to the alts that it would best go with, so all my water stuff to my water character, you know. Batman went to my comic book shop. All that good stuff. But, uh... It's cool to see it all in one place, so I kind of like that. It's, so he has, like, iconic hallways. There's Flash, there's Aquaman, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman Cove. So that's that's pretty neat. All right. Let's go check out the Bat Cave or the Crime Hawk Cave, the Hawk Cave. <gasps> it is a Hawk Cave! Look at the Alvin's! Oh. I have a feeling that we're not, we're not welcome here. Oh, my... I love that it's the owl cave and there's mice everywhere so the owls can swoop down and get the mice. <laughs> oh, there's the Joker blimps. Oh, this is cool. All the bats on the ceiling too. And I love that the owl signals light up with match where they are at on the ceiling. That's great. I love when it does it. All the, all the ha-has. <laughs> Very villainous. Much wow. <laughs> I love it. This is great. All the rain. Got the armories here, as well as armaments with the tank. Lots of shells as well to load up. Oh, man! Are they defending? Is this... Th they're defending against what's uh, this arsenal that's about to come, actually? <laughs> that's cool. We can check out... Crime Hawk, of course, he's got his iconic hawk style. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so let's go check out what's in the pit here. Jump up on the, the Batmobile for an aerial view. Oh man, yeah, even more artillery coming in. <laughs> Look at that! Dude, the Savage Stronghold cannons are so cool. This is one of the coolest pieces of furniture. I have yet to really utilize that in a base. I need to. It's it's too cool not to. <gasps> Little Batmobile. <laughs> like I said, all the like one of a kind furniture. The moon Water pool is in this base. This is, is like intense. a so relic of all the rare like one time furniture that we've gotten, unseen. which is really really cool. Like the Joker blimps, the moon pool. <laughs> All the posters. Yeah, this is great. And some ships and some Brainiac stuff down here. Nothing in the hidey hole. And I think that's the end of Crime Hawk's base, aka No Theme. <laughs> so thank you so much, Crime Hawk, for sharing your base with me and also for building one. I'm so happy that you finished one. This is for a first time base. This is absolutely phenomenal. So you should be super proud of yourself. Like for real, like this is, this is great. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. Um, no new announcements, uh, just that base off still going on. You guys have a little less than a month to get your entries in. I think we've got eight so far, which is crazy. Cause I wasn't expecting that many entries for this one because it is, like, I thought the theme was a bit, like, you know, um, I don't know, just, just kind of out there, but a lot of you really liked it, so I'm, I'm really excited to see what you guys got. <laughs> so, yeah, until then, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.